Yeah, had, good afternoon, girls. Welcome to the first uh, of, of the Kefa Vision Stands Up. Um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the colonialism that you're presently learning about in class with, with Mr. Carr. I thought this might be a good way to fill in a few um, extras or some gaps because you've done the Industrial Revolution and next up um, you're going to be doing and looking at and studying World War One. So colonialism is probably the, the start of the causes of World War One. And causes are what we talk a lot about in history. Causes are reasons why things happen. So colonialism is a cause or a contributing factor to how countries started to really hate on each other. Now, the, the, the kind of the quick and the simple story is that countries wanted to get rich. And for the first time in, in ever, countries are now making things, people are making things, um, businesses exist, factories exist. Um, all of those things which are being made in a country are being bought by the consumers and the makers are starting to realize that there's leftovers. So what are you going to do with the leftovers? You can either sell them cheap, but nobody necessarily at home wants them because they've got everything that they need or they've not got any more money. Or you could find markets to sell them overseas. Colonialism, right? Colonialism is finding markets to sell your products to that are being made at home. Added to that, an extra benefit is that from those colonies, those places that you go to for trade, you find stuff that they have which you could sell back at home. So the easy example when we talk about the British, the British Empire, I'll give you a couple examples that the British colonies won India. India got bags and loads of spices. So spices make food taste better, curries, think of that kind of thing. We talked about that in class last week. They make meat tastier when that meat's not quite as good to eat as it might be. So it doesn't make the meat stay fresh, it conceals the taste of, of, of the decay or the badness or the, the, the rotten meat. So India provides lots of spices. British ships bring them back and they get sold in England. Now, the other one, England goes to a country like, I'll give you this one, Canada, second example, Canada. Got loads and loads of those um, pine trees, like a Christmas tree, that kind of thing. Just got lots of trees, forests everywhere, Canada. So England can cut down those, those trees and sail back all of that wood from Canada and sell it to build their new houses and their factories when they're putting up frames for these houses or um, machinery um, and, and floors in the, in, in the factory, so wooden floors would be typical. So Canada provides wood, India provides spices, and we send to those two countries in those boats things that we've made. So trade is starting to make the world go around. And England and Britain is establishing these colonies. Ideally, right, with good relationships from the people with the people who live there. But like in capitalism, I've said this before, capitalism all about making as much profit as you can, and to make as much profit as you can. You've got to try to rip off people, pay the workers low wages, get the kids to work in the factories like in the Industrial Revolution, charge as much rent to, to, to rent a home as you possibly can get away with. They're all features of capitalism. So when you get to these colony countries, you try and rip off the people who live there as much as you can without tipping them over the edge and making them hate you. If you tip them over the edge, they might rebel, and then it gets nasty. Then you get little wars starting. Then you need to send your army to those places to put down those little rebellions, those little wars, those angry local people. That costs a fortune. You don't want to send your army all the way to India, all the way to Canada, 
all the way to both at the same time. Nightmare. Becomes really, really expensive. So colonialism at that point becomes the next concept that we're going to talk about, imperialism, right? And once we get to imperialism, we are just about almost at the start of World War I because the other countries in Europe are starting to really hate England and Britain because Britain's made lots of money and lots of enemies because it's become such a powerful country with such a massive empire. I hope that's a bit of a, an experience, a, a good explanation. I hope you get that. Um, I hope most of all you understand it from watching it in Teams or on YouTube because remember, if we go distance, if we close, this is how we're going to be doing our lessons. Five, six, seven minute little clips about the knowledge bits and you're going to then work on some of the cognitions, some of the skills like the explain or the describe or the analyze or the synthesize, all those cognitions that we talk about, the work side of things and you'll be doing that on your own but basing it from these little clips. I hope it was okay. If you liked it, give me some feedback. Don't know where, mate. Oh, the chat thing at the bottom of the page on Teams. That could work. Or in my Careful Vision section of YouTube. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye. See you soon.